Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome to Resident Evil 3. I'm recording this one through the PS4 because for some reason Streamlabs has decided that the... Why is everything going wrong? Streamlabs kept skipping frames when I tried to record this through Steam and now I'm having internet issues on the PS4. Nothing is going right for me today. Technical difficulties everywhere. It's like, it's like the world doesn't want me to do YouTube stuff. But screw that. I'm going to do YouTube stuff. And we're going to carry on with our Resident Evil playthrough with Resident Evil 3. Let us begin. On the plus side, internet connection should have nothing to do with the gameplay. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. CDC is quarantined the lower midwestern region of the U.S. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Liar! It's this foundation that will continue to build brighter future for all of us. Oh damn. There's our boy. There's old Nemi. Good morning, Jill. Did you sleep well? I imagine not. Well, first of all, let's shut that window. Don't want the rain getting in and ruining, ruining a nice studio apartment here. Been a busy girl, Jill. There she is. The floppy hair. That girl's looking great. But we've got to talk about your water consumption. Uh oh. I'll be honest, I'd rather do that than become a zombie. Morning, Jill. Gets worse every night. All right, there we go. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Three more days, and the whole world will kiss this town goodbye. Doesn't sound good, does it, Jill? 
Too many pills. Well, I don't blame you for needing them after what you endured in the Spencer Mansion. Jill's report. September 26th, 1998. It's already two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, invest investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a Stars officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an, inf an in infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor, di my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful, after all. This could just be an extended incubation. Very topical. Still. Investigation notes. Umbrella, pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company, also secretly developing bioweapons. T-Virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility predicted the mansion predicated, predicated, whatever, the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Ah. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from, the win from their window 24-7. Are they Irons men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know that what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like I'm the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever it is... Or if you hear I've been killed or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files... They'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Message from colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey Hotshot, how are you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City? I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. Brad, you're all right. Jill, you really need to do some housekeeping. It's not good for your mental state to live in a in a dump like that. Believe me, I know. Depression's a bitch. Again, Jill, we've got to talk about the water. There's our girl. Yeah, let's turn that off. You're looking good. Oh, the phone is ringing. I wonder, Jill, who could it possibly be? Hello? Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What? 
What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Ah! Hi, Nemesis. It's been a hot minute. How are you doing? Oh, he's a big boy. What the hell is that thing? We already know. You'll find out later on. Well, very soon, actually. Yes, let's. Don't you wave that thing at me. Bad touch, bad touch. There we go. Jill, we've got to move. Oh. That's got to take a toll on the old ribs. I mean, you could have just killed me right there and then, Nemesis. Why grab the bit of the ceiling? Stars indeed. Ah, the liquor store. That's exactly what we need in this situation. Jill, hey, br here. hey, Brad. Brad. You okay? What was that thing? Tamed if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. So fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arkley on steroids. Well, this is all the work of Umbrella and uh, Willy B. You're not going to let me investigate that? Alright, fair enough. Is indeed. Sorry, Brad. Sorry. Don't be sorry, he doesn't need it. We very much do.
crazy. Absolutely. Sure about that, dude. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? <laughs> Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've been doing a bang up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. How's that gonna help? Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Damn! She tried to kill me! <laughs> <laughs> I missed that those ones that uh, I think the first time I played through this I didn't think to shoot to get any more out of them <laughs> sir you, you've got a little thing on your lips loop-de-loop -loop. no matter how bad things get at least you're not having a, 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 a day as bad as Jill here coming I don't know what it is about Resident Evil 3 that through uh, through Steam, Streamlabs just doesn't like. Turn, it played Resident Evil 2 just fine, well recorded Resident Evil 2 just fine, but for 3 it's just like, nah, I'm being overworked, I demand a higher salary. Jill. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Who's your dentist? Do you have his number? Why didn't you catch that one? Hey, easy lady, I got you. 
Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. <laughs> it was just, just like, what the hell happened there? He fired a rocket, I caught it, he fired another one, but I didn't catch it. If only there was a way I could have done that. I think we're in the clear. I hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. <laughs> oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No, thanks. He's all yours. I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? But we're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. But I don't know anything about all that. Uh, it's true though he wouldn't he's just a uh, he's just the grunt unfortunately Carlos in umbrella's eyes you are very much disposable Mikhail yay hey captain this fine young lady could use our help Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. I'm on their side, not yours. Oh, hey, it's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. So I think, I think Mikhail understands Here you go. Jill's attitude. Use this to stay in Carlos, on the other hand, does not, because he's not uh, trusted enough to know all the ins and outs of Umbrella. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. <laughs> the car was awesome. UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Handgun ammo. Two gun powders. Shotgun ammo. Gun powder and high grade out ammo. Mag ammo. Two high grades. Once you're stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let, let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. 
Hmm. It's a very honest report. Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. Nice. Clever. In the grey of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as dishevelled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So, who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comet have been gnaw- have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Well, I'd love to, but you don't give me any more. I would very much like the scoop. Jill, it's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You might get in the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. all of these. Give me that, thank you. UBCS Herb Field Manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? Go someplace else. Here in the big leagues we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorised. High potency mixture. Two green herbs. Maximum potency mixture. Green herb plus red herb or two green herbs. First aid spray. Can't make these yourself, grab them if you see them. That should do it. Now let's get this done and then go grab a beer. Priorities, I like it. Yep, we'll definitely grab these. Take advantage of all the stuff I already have to make life a little bit easier. Uh, I'll keep one full health with me. And we'll take these two. I'll leave all the special stuff alone. Some Steely Boys. Tar very much. Okay. Train moving. Hello there. God, I've got to get used to using the controller to shoot again. I didn't think you were dead, but you are now.
Thank you very much. I heard a helicopter somewhere. But I did not see it. Your Charlie Doll. The original Charlie Doll was based on the likeness of Toy Uncle's founder Charlie McBurgan and has become the mascot of the company. We are pleased to present this porcelain Charlie, Charlie Doll as a celebration of our 25th anniversary. Individually handcrafted with love and care by our staff, this limited edition item makes, a preci makes for a precious gift. We hope he'll find his place as a cherished member of your family. Caution! This product, product is extremely fragile. Take care not to drop it or strike it. Hmm, I wish you told me that before. Right, hopefully I can remember where all the collectible stuff was because I don't want to leave any red areas. those and one of those hello boys how you doing Carlos I've reached the main avenue which way do I go see a big transmission tower that's a substation you have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there you mean the alley that's on fire Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Fuck you. I don't understand that pickup line, tall drink of water. I don't get it. The smell of ro roasting zombies in the evening. Oops. Oh my god, stop missing. What's wrong with you, man? Oh my god. Alright then. Should be some bullets there, yes, thank you. Put you where you're supposed to go. Grab the other gunpowder actually and 
make some more handgun boulets. Before we pop out there. Hey! Really, Jill? How do you miss three clear shots at that distance? Oh. I, I, I got kind of, I got used to using the keyboard and mouse during RE2. That using this, uh, using a controller again is a bit uh, a tad off putting. If I remember this one, uh, nine, seven, three. No, shit, nine, three, seven. There we go. And I knew it was one of those. Laser dot. Thank you. Drugstore owner's journal. August 24th. This new hair tonic for, for this new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make works always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. Priorities, dude. Love it. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure queen. And she's never and sh she'd never give it up to a thief. Unless she was stupid enough to circle the numbers on the poster. Just saying. That would be a pretty dumb thing to do. Having this, having the laser, the laser sight helps a lot. How are we doing? Are you going to come around the corner? Yeah, I thought you would. Shit. Perfect headshot, thank you. Hey lady, you being drunk and disorderly, why were you sleeping underneath the car? you. Right, I'm pretty sure he's down for the count. Grab you. High grade. Make some more shotgun shells. Yeah, nine three seven. 
Surely even your wife would figure that out. I could be wrong. Hey everyone. Did I get you all? I saw you move. my ammo by giving me those beautiful perfect headshots. Alright. So drop off some items and then check out the station area. Shotgun shells, I like it. But it's been a while since I've actually played Resident Evil 3 re Remake. I wonder if my opinion on it has changed at all. See, so my Initial opinion is it's a good Resident Evil game, but I don't think it's a good remake. Um, I could have been looking at it through rose tinted goggles. Kite Bros Railway Manual. Ensuring safe subway operations in the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. I see. But my initial problem with this remake does stem from how much was cut from the original. But as a Resident Evil game, I love it. It's a great Resident Evil game. No question about that at all. Just as a remake of 3, I found it a bit of a disappointment. Subway employees mem memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits the breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack, that should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try and find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. I'm guessing you never made it back, friend. Unless that was you, I uh, finished in the hallway. Bullocks. Don't have enough room to pick up the shotgun. Well, cut it open. Get it out of the way. Oh no, I do have enough room. Okay. I'm just an idiot then. Okay, there we go. Oh, 
We're closed. Oh, sorry, officer. There we go. Get. Right. This area should all be nice and blued off. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go drop some items off. And then deal with that fire. Yeah, that'll do. Is this car up here going to open bef before or after I go to the substation? I don't remember. Let's check it out. Before! Good boy! That was unnecessarily compl difficult. Jill, please stop doing the jumping back thing. It is a tad annoying. Right, should be able to grab these. And that's this area clear. Perfect. Guess so far I seem to be remembering my way around here. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I heard that too. I don't need to go through there just yet. Alright, we can now ditch these. There we go. Hello, Nikolai. I've missed what you. The fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars we saw. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self preservation. I love this version of Nikolai. He's easily one of. I think he's easily my favourite part of this remake is how, how they've done Nikolai. Hey Murphy. We hardly knew you. Training log. July 10th. 202 pounds, 12 laps of the yard, 2 circuits. Suck it prison, the Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job. Don't know how how they're going to wipe out a, a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever, I'll take it. Beach shitting away the rest of my life... The rest of my days behind bars. I gotta be back. I gotta get back into shape. July twenty sixth, one hundred ninety six pounds, twenty kilometer run, three circuits. Target practice at four hundred yards, five misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at four hundred yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter, I'll get sharp again, watch me. August 15th, £190, 30km run, 3 circuits. 
Target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people, and goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. September 25th, 181 pounds, 30 kilometer run, four circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll you'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people, right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change, the way I know best. Damn. You don't get to know Murphy's backstory in the original. This is definitely one of the strong points of this remake. And the Resident Evil 2 remake, how they took the minor characters and fleshed them out. UBCS suicide note. September 28th. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. Figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse, and if that was, and if that was just the beginning. Maybe I'm a coward, I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Shit. Electricians notice. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electricians Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the Guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could, could get electrocuted. Handwritten edition. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as, they, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighbourhood electrician, Sam. Well, guessing old Sammy didn't make it. Are you dead now? You little shit. Hi everyone. Neighbourhood watch. Oh, you cowbag. Oh, God damn it. Where are you going, Tubbs? Alright, she's down for the count. She's definitely down for the count. you open right 
red herb. Not much good to me. I need a green. Grab another one of these. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an international power outage. Oh, intentional, not international. Fucking hell. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. Thanks, boss. Right. Uh, put those away. Take that green herb. Mix you with you. There we go, back to full health. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigmalator, this has been Resident Evil 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. <laughs>